So yeah, what I was talking about is kind of leading into uh, a lot of the difficulties I've had with enemies. Um, that's... oopsie. Um, I've been relying on raw fundamentals really hard in this game. And I... The, like, the fundamentals from Breath of the Wild. And I think that that's incorrect. Because what they they really push are all of these uh, all of these pieces of of uh, item itemry itemization um, with the dazzle fruit the um, the muddle stuff and the puff shrooms they, that's what they want you to be doing uh, and now understanding that I'm having a much easier time at fighting these enemies to where I think I'm supposed to rely on fundamentals maybe a little bit later in the game and maybe not as much period the fundamentals are different in this game and that's that's okay, I just need to understand that, and so far, I just, I haven't been understanding that. Where did my plane go? I'm probably not gonna get the thing back. Uh, you know, let's teleport over here. Yeah, we're gonna teleport over here and go south, because I, I got this. I don't think there are any rewards to be gained here. Um, largely, ah, there might be something there. That's a build platform right here. I'm gonna go here, here and then call it f for this little area. There's one down there. Anything else I can see from here? There's another one down there. Boom. I gotta say, normally when I play, uh, I play in the depths, there's like a point where I just kind of clam up. I just kind of clam up, I'm like, yeah, we're going through it, it's happening. But this, I'm actually solidly enjoying this session. Uh, it's not getting old. Like I'm clamming up a little bit just because, you know, we're, we are getting to the point where I've explored a lot, and so I'm having to, I'm having to warp around. But I'm I'm enjoying myself. I'm talking. I'm I'm playing the game. I'm I feel like for the first time, I'm understanding what I need to be doing. Is that water? What What is that? Like we don't often see water down here. I, I guess we do. I guess we literally have. But for water to be there, I don't know. It's kind of odd looking. What? Wait, 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 wait. What is that? That is like a demon. I want to land on this first to get the souls. But I, I really do feel like for the very first time in this entire Let's Play, I'm understanding combat a little bit better. It's... It's about overwhelming the opponent. It's about using uh laying down aoe and then going in and then using the fundamentals on the few enemies that remain i'm getting it <laughs> finally i'm getting it uh especially since we now have m multiple spirits that are going to be drawing aggro for us enemies do uh tend to aggro them more than they aggro us and so while we're causing havoc with a bunch of different things on the battlefield then we can focus on what's truly important, kill the most important dude, and then, and then, go on, go to the fundamentals. Okay, but what are these statues here? Um, that's a, what is that? That almost, uh, I want to, that actually startled me half to death. Winged statue. Part of quest, clearly. And this is the... So here's here's my question. Here's my question here. Um, let's lift this while we're at it. It looks like these things originate, like, over here. Um... I don't think anything, anything, like, originated, um, what am I trying to say? At the beginning of the, the last major statue quest we did, I'm pretty sure there was not a, like, a thing with the very first statue. There wasn't anything special with the first statue. So we are free to move on, move forward. And follow these demonic-looking statues that... I don't like the looks of this thing. It's like a, it's it's like a Rito crossed with Batro from Skyward Sword, crossed with a Chozo. That's that's the vibe I'm getting, and it's not a great vibe. It's not a great vibe. It's kind of a scary vibe. I don't want that. Weird trees there. 
But this is exciting. This is really exciting. What is that? Just a branch. And what is... Anything good there? I have weapons. I... Yeah, I'm doing great on weapons. I don't need any more. Also, with this this open clearing, I would not be surprised if we saw frogs. It has been a little bit since we've seen a boss. We were seeing them left and right for a while there, but now it's... The action has has kind of dissipated. I also am not forgetting I did mark a, uh, a thing there. That's fine. We'll get it later. It's easy to fly to. Uh, right now, I found these statues, and now we're now we're doing it. Now we're cooking. We are cooking. These guys stand right at the edge of our range, which <laughs> Tulin, they're not at the edge of Tulin's range. He has like a crazy long shot bow. It's kind of weird. He got uh he got the falcon bow. Is it called the falcon bow? Eagle bow. I need to use the correct term. He got the great eagle bow, but he shoots. In a, uh, he shoots almost as though he's using one of the... What are they called? Uh, hi. I think it's the Yiga bows that, that shoot like that. It's either the Yiga bows or like the Sheikah bows. Bye. One thing I really like about the, the Stalfos, it's, it's a small detail, but I appreciate it, is they don't... They, they're they agnostic to what body they get, as long as it's the right species, and that's kind of cool. Uh, what am I seeing over here? I see light. It'd be kind of cool if we just happened to come across the end of of the trail, although I like the anticipation of it. It's a, it's a really cool, like, connecting tissue. You guys are just normal, right? Yeah, you're just normal. I for... What is that? Yiga base. One thing that I'm trying to do, I, it's a bad commentary habit I noticed, which unfortunately uh, plagued Pikmin 4. Granted, I really like the Pikmin 4 LP. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I'm going to miss it. I Actually, of the, at this point, um, I don't think I've ever said this, but Pikmin 4 has one episode remaining. Like, literally one episode and it's it's entirely based on what you guys say because uh, there's going to be like a, an after game episode it's weird that i'm talking about this here uh sure shot of the century got him <laughs> that's sweet no stealth required uh, so, really, the entire Let's Play has been done. It's actually been done for a long time. Um, I I hit this point where... I mean, obviously, there's, like, one last cave, and so I decided to do that. And uh, whenever comments happen that are relevant to what I'm talking about, I'll probably put them in the episode. Um, other than, otherwise, there's probably going to be one big batch at the end uh, where I mention great comments. I think that's going to be something I do. I think I did it a little bit in Breath of the Wild. I'm going to do it proper in, in Pikmin 4. Uh, is mentioning some of the best, like, a, a lot, thanking the comments, truly, because you guys helped so much, uh, and you continue to help with this series. But, oh yeah, I was talking about a bad habit, which I'll, uh, expound on after this. Recently, Master Koga has been devoted to studying an amazing new power. It's rumored that this power can make new vehicles in an instant. Imagine the time his wisdom will save. Easing our exploration of the depths is worth the momentary diversion from Master Koga's primary goal. He sent a team to the abandoned mine in the depths under South Hyrule Field to follow a lead about this miraculous power. If Master Koga's predictions are correct, constructing machines in the dark depths will become much simpler. Glory to mankind! Uh, but I have a I have a really bad habit in, co in commentary. Uh, go back to my Pikmin 1 Let's Play. As much as I'm proud of my gameplay of that, I'm not super proud of, of my commentary. Because all too often when I'm stressed, I say, like, let's do this. Let's go over to that. Let's, let's do, you know, let's kill this thing. And that's not... I need to go up, yeah. That isn't amazing commentary and it, it doesn't help when you're tabbed out which frequently i'm tabbed out uh, a lot of times i actually go to sleep listening to let's plays not my own that's that would be creepy uh but i, I go to sleep listening to let's plays or re-watching let's plays even okay fine <laughs> fine i give up <laughs> yeah i give up and so i'm trying to get better about that which 
hope may, for all I know, I was really bad about it in this session, uh, which if it, if I was, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm trying to get better at, at commentary again. It's it's a definitely a, a very it's a difficult skill. Like the amount of skill that I have um, when I'm not commentating versus commentating is insane. It's night and day. I've I've beat uh, the entire or all of the B sides in Celeste. I beat the Farewell DLC. I've done. I've I hold the second place well second place years ago I don't know about anymore uh, the second place world record for what am I doing the second place world record for the uh, first Gurahim battle um, I am good at games but if you have never commentated a game before do so try it e even just even just uh, alone like you don't need to you don't need to release it although I would encourage you to because it's really fun uh try it because it's chances are you're going to realize how much how difficult it actually is and how much of your skill just goes right out the window as soon as you are are talking and having to think about what you're saying and be entertaining make jokes uh yeah. my sense of humor I, I i tend to take whatever situation i'm given and make it comedically um hyperbolic I, I will read one random thing, like uh, Colin, slight intimation that he, something is a little bit suspicious with him, and I, and suddenly he is... And suddenly he's a cannibal. Like, does that just how my my humor is? I think it's really funny to, to take a little, little joke and just run with it as much as you can. I don't know why I'm not skipping this cutscene. What does this look like? We have statues. They're leading us somewhere. Where could they go? There's like a mine on the other side of us, which I should probably check out. Uh, it's on the other side. It's over there. Let's let's go see what that is. Again, now that we know that they, now that I think every single one of the mines, like the little mines so far, has been massively rewarding uh, from having unique pieces of gear. Which at this point, one thing I'm worried about is I might not 100% the game by upgrading all the gear. I did that in Breath of the Wild. It was really difficult, really grindy. Uh, but, ugh. Do I do that in this game? That's, that's an undertaking and a half. What's the chest contain? What does it have? What does it have? Something good? Something good? Tunic of Time! I think we now have the full set. I set. Cap of Time? Tunic of Time? And Trousers of Time. And no set bonus. Hooray! Looks sweet, though. I like that Link's hair changes when he has this equipped. That's really sweet. It looks good. You gotta you gotta admit. It's a classic look. And it has not gotten worse with age. No enemies around. Again, it's weird to me that uh, we haven't fought... We haven't found a boss in a long time. They were one after another. Now they're just not. That's weird looking. Oh, did we find it? I think we might have found it. I think that's the mine. Or the start of it, anyway. Maybe. Ah, oh, nice. Delicious. What is that? It was highlighted very strangely. Well, I guess it's nothing. Oh, it's highlighted strangely because of the, the light. Light fruit there. Uh, I have a cart shield, don't I? Let's use that. Let's go. <laughs> Super fast. I could be building stuff to uh, like drive, but the moment I do, hi, buddy. The moment I do is the moment that this takes a change in verticality like that. Like that, that's weird. Okay, uh, let's. If I had to levy a complaint at this game, it, it's that. <laughs> and this is a weird complaint. I can't favorite my armor. I feel like I'm constantly switching armor in this game. It's kind of frustrating. And you know what? While we're on the topic, let's levy, levy another complaint. Oh, that was fun. One more. 
I missed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good job, Link. Um, bows. You probably don't notice it a lot because I cut it. I literally cut this out. But every time I, I pull out a bow and go to uh, fuse something to it, I cut out all the time it takes me to select it. Because if I have a bread and butter thing... Ooh, this is fun. If I have a bread and butter item that I fuse to my bows, then I'm going to go through that item quickly. So that means that I'm constantly, constantly having to go in the menu to find the next best thing. I could probably be using this more, to be fair. The next best thing to use. And that's... It's annoying. It's really annoying. I wish that I could just fuse stuff to bows and be done with it. What on earth? Where am I going? This is... This is new. This is actually like a cave instead of like... I don't know, the nether. Like, dark overworld. A stone talus. Which is definitely worth fighting. Fine, I'll, I'll fight this. It's a weird stone talus. Let's see if I can land the shot. Not quite. Got it. That's enough, wow. Okay, uh, stone taluses are super weak. Uh, let's grab this. It's gonna get that bonus damage. I still have my, my armor equipped. You know how I was complaining about bosses? Or, I guess, just talking about bosses? Well, we found them. We found all the bosses. All the classic bosses. And we're killing them before they are able to stand. Sweet. Lots of good stuff. Be careful how my uh, how much I mash, because Toon likes to throw away everything I love. Uh, yeah. Rare Stone Talus Heart. We're gonna fire. Actually, you know what? I'm running out of br giant br uh, bright bloom seeds, but this is worth it. This is a major, major quest. Okay. It's leading me to a boss, but that's not. That's not the goal of this. I feel like the other one did that too. Okay, well, <laughs> more bosses. I'm not complaining. I am not complaining about more bosses. I will complain about constantly pulling up my menu. That will probably be less of a problem once... Uh... Yeah, it'll probably be less of a... Pr you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna equip this first and foremost. I'm gonna equip this. And... I think it just makes the most sense to kill this thing from above. Ready, set, go! Once. Twice. Three times. Four times. That should be enough. No, it's not enough. Not even close. Okay. Uh, a few more times then. Let's switch over to this. I want to get it to half health with this blitz. I also have the stamina to do this, so why not? There we go. That should break it apart. All right, get my stamina back. And he's done. All the bosses, all the bosses, just killing them before they're able to raise their weapon, which is, that's very good. When I have this little health, that's the strength. That's the advantage I need to be leveraging. 